Hi Leos, welcome to my channel Answers by Divine. This is gonna be for your October reading. So this uh, this will be a sneak preview of October. I'll be doing pick a deck. So uh, you will pick your deck one, two or three. So Leos, pick, you can choose, choose the number, whichever number that you like. Or otherwise, you could just see me lay the deck and you can pick whichever deck that attract your attention the most. Okay, so as you can see, I'm shuffling away the past energies. So this time round, will be a fresh new start for you, for the sign of Leos for the month of October, general. And uh, pick a deck. I'll be laying Celtic Cross. Timestamp will be at the bottom of the comment. So there you go. I've been shopping this for a while, so this this is it. For the sign of Leo's, pick a deck. For those who are choosing their deck, what do we have in their cards? Okay, what do we have in their cards for the month of October 2018? Alright, okay, three shuffles. Third shuffle. Okay, Leos, are you ready? So this will be your first spread, second spread, third spread. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay. If you have to, just take a pause on the video, otherwise I'll proceed 1, 2 and 3. So this is your first deck, your second deck and your third deck. Okay, Leos, we'll start off with the first deck. For those of you who have chosen deck number 1, this is for you. 3 shuffles again, 1, 2 and 3. Ah ah. Okay, are we ready? So this is for you, Leos. This is your current, your challenge, your past, your recent past, your future, possible outcome, what you're thinking about, what is external to you, your hopes, and the final outcome. Okay? So Leos, this is for Leos who have chosen your deck one, your first deck, this is for you. So right now what are we seeing is that you might be dealing with someone who's um who's um, I feel I feel like saying I'm sorry, but I feel like saying someone who's unsure about himself, someone who's unsure of what they are talking about, someone who's unsure of whatever that, that, that they are putting out to you, or how are they projecting themselves to you, that image in front of you. This is who and what you're dealing with right now. The challenge is that you want a brand new start, possibly with this person. With this person, you want a brand new start. Whoever that you're dealing with who doesn't know, who's unsure, there's a lot of uncertainty with the people that you're dealing with, or it could be you, but more likely it will be the other person. Okay, you want a brand new start because we have an ace of wands. This is your challenge right now. You, you don't seem to be able to get a breakthrough with this uh, whoever that you're dealing with you, it's like there's a lot of communication back and forth okay so your past in the past that will actually uh heart heartbreaks and but i mean but i want to say that this is actually this card three of swords in reverse this is card of healing so you have already healed from whatever that had happened in the past that but there were definitely a heartbreak someone actually disappointed you this is a card of disappointment Okay, someone disappointed you, but you have actually healed or recovered. Or otherwise, it means to tell me that uh, it is something that you might not have taken it too, uh, too hard. Okay, for, for some of you, but most of you, uh, you have gone through the phase of uh, heartbroken and now you have already recovered. Okay, so that was in the past. You have already went, went through the full cycle of uh, recovery. And then what do we have right now? The seven of ones uh, in the recent past. Not right now, but in the recent past. In the recent past, I see you letting your guard down. I see you being open, open-minded, open to communication, open to suggestions, open to physical uh, connection, 
when I say physical connection, meaning to say you don't mind seeing this person, okay? You don't mind getting together, come together, meet over a lunch, a dinner, a tea, a coffee. So you're putting your guts down a lot. So you're being open-minded. A lot of forgiving, essence of for forgiving over here. What is in the future? The future is that would there seems to be already happiness on the horizon you see you see a silver lining of happiness right now that means to say whoever that you're dealing with this person whom you had a past with maybe maybe you had a past with or right now but it looks like there, there is a past you had a past with someone and then who didn't turn out well for you okay love or not could be anyone could be anyone even friends friendship or um, uh, workmates what whatever kind of person okay so it seems like you know things are growing things are growing for the both of you or a group of you but it is looking more like one to one person so seems things the thing seems to be growing the relationship still seems to be growing for you we have the six of ones over here in your future possible outcome is that everything will be back to square because the thing is that this person is unsure we have the king of swords over here in in the now in the now position so this is someone who's unsure of himself and then possible outcome is that it will it will still go back to square because in the possible in the outcome possible outcome we have the five of wands okay it will still go back to square as in you know communication back and forth not uh coming to consensus not able to make decisions together like so what is what like at one time you want this at one time you want that at one time you're being good to me at one time you were you you are you know you're disappearing disappearing from me disappointing me what are you thinking about you're thinking about giving up i feel like you want to just give up and let things roll by itself okay what is external to you the high priest the external to you is that you don't get the commitment that you want from this person because this person apparently is very unsure there's a lot of uncertainty with you and this person okay so what are your hopes your hopes is that you hope to come together with this person we have the lovers over here this is your hope you hope to really come to uh maybe reconciliation or come to a partnership an official partnership maybe to get married or to sign off some contractual agreement if it's a work uh, related situation or some kind of uh, I, 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 I start to feel something like a house agent or some housing agent like you're getting a house you want to sign off with someone but maybe this agent is someone who uh, who can't get things done or settled for you or it could be anyone or just a love love relationship status okay and the final outcome is three of pentacles i see the final outcome over here it is very good three of pentacles is about um, um is a this is about uh, again it, it is it is re related and relevant with partnership over here three of pentacles is about someone is selling someone is selling someone's idea and then it uh the the receiver is listening is open open-minded to listen open-minded to to take in uh, suggestion or advices or you know is open to work things out together this is three of Pentacles in your final outcome all right so it looks pretty straightforward and pretty good the whole deck over here the whole spread is telling the same story and it's pointing towards one all right so Leo's for those of you who have picked number one deck number one this is for you okay so now we will move on to deck number two
Okay, so uh, for Leo's who have picked deck number two, I'm sorry, in case you... Okay, so deck number two. Deck number two, Leo's. Last shuffle for Leo's who have chosen deck number two. Alright, so here you go. For Leo's who have chosen deck number number two, this is your Celtic Cross. The first, now, your challenge, your past, your recent past, your future, your possible outcome. The you right now, what you're thinking, your external, your hopes, and your final outcome. Okay, so I hope you can see. Okay, so Leo's who have picked deck number two, chosen a number two. Okay, so this is the you right now. The you right now, we are seeing that you might be, um, mm, you might be going through some difficult, uh, challenging time right now. Having to, having to, um, go, having to, um, having to take the extreme, go the extremities. Okay, having to take the extreme. The challenge right now is you don't seem to get the the. Uh, get to where you want to because and that's the reason why the challenge right now is that uh, Sorry, not the challenge the now the you right now Okay, what is what is your current situation right now is having to take extremities doing all the extreme going the extreme Sometimes going the extra mile if it's something good. Okay, the challenge right now is that you on you don't seem to get to uh, Where you want to be you don't seem to achieve your desire your hopes this is your challenge right now. In the past, what do we have? In the past, we see an missed opportunity. Someone uh, maybe retracted, retracted a, a, an offer. Someone, someone retracted an offer from you or you retracted an offer from someone. Uh, someone missed an opportunity. That means it happened, it came, but it's gone. Okay? In the recent past, what do we have? In the recent past, we have, we have someone coming in to... Uh, provide you an alternative I see alternative over here this is a second chance in the recent past we have a second chance because we have the Knight of Pentacles okay this is an offer but this again is temporary so it seems like you know a lot of things just come in come in in uh, in a gush but it is all short term and you don't need you don't have time and you're unsure of whether to take it up or not it seems like all this offer to you thus far all this offer to you thus far might not be what you what you really wanted but it is you know it's something it's not too bad but you haven't really get to your ultimate final destination final destination is the key Leo you have a point you have a destination point you want to get there but I see a lot of challenges like people are here uh, holding you stopping you giving you obstacle or you know confusing you complicating the situation complicating matters right now in the future what do we see in the future we see you being stagnant uh, in this month of October stagnant that means wherever you are whoever you are whatever you are right now you will still be whatever you are doing what you do okay if you are you, if you are hoping for any major changes major breakthrough or a transit uh, transiting through and past your current phase it is looking like it might take a while more okay the possible outcome is that there will be a a new there will be a new uh, new fresh new beginning but just beware because the future is pointing towards it will take some time because we have eight of ones in reverse this is uh, non-progression okay but the possible outcome is that you will definitely go and you will definitely grow okay but you have to take some time take some time take a step back just roll with it roll with the vibe okay what are you thinking about you're thinking about this king of ones in reverse okay Whatever that you are wanting for, or whoever that you are dealing with is giving, um, it's ve it's being very challenging. Or whatever is in your mind right now, whatever that you want to achieve is a very challenging goal. It is a very challenging target. It is a very high expectation. High expectation. Uh, it is not easy to get to. It is not easy to get there. All right. The external. What do we have? External. We have the night also. Someone who's being, um. Uh, someone who just again night is a short term energy it is like a gush opening up the floodgate you're dealing with night of swords someone who might be mm, very how do you put it someone who might be very aggressive more aggressive more towards the aggressive side someone who's aggressive who's you know uh, putting it right flat up into your face like it's either this or that you take it or leave it do you want this or do you not want this? What what do you you know? It, it is very um 
to me it is it is a more pa- um not passive but more aggressive passive aggressive but not passive okay so very uh, more aggressive more aggressive kind of communication is what you're dealing with so it seems to me there's more verbal verbal conflicts over here verbal challenges communication having to communicate with people and putting your putting your stance putting your foot uh, right out and being firm on your stance being firm very firm on your stance it's like um, you know you have to know yourself this is a period of time where you have to know yourself it is um, you have to know yourself. What do you really want for yourself? What are you getting for yourself? This is the this is the chart. This is external to you right now. So people are not giving you any leeway. Yeah, leeway is the key. Okay, people are not giving you any leeway. It's a very tight communication. Time and schedule are tight. Uh, uh, allowance, playroom are tight. You don't have much to play around with. You don't. You might not have enough capacity or allowance to to maneuver your your life right now okay this is the month of october this is what you're feeling so what are you hoping for you're hoping that you could actually um have a have a coming to a consensus okay you're hoping to come to a consensus you're hoping to seek agreement seek uh, approval from someone to to agree with you to see your point this is what you're hoping for okay the final outcome what do we have we have the nine of wands in a final outcome so nine of wands is someone who's um Need going to achieve on the way on the on the uh on the route on the way to success okay but this is a more this is this to me now of once is more like um mm, it is more it is more of a harsh harsh or harsher energy over here again this is having your foot you have to stand firm on your stance you have to uh um yeah, you have to stand firm on your stance, okay? That means to say, if it's a no, it is definitely a no. There's no negotiation, nothing. If I'm asking for this, I mean, I'm, for example, if you're asking for a certain expectation, it better be jolly well people be meeting your expectation. There's nothing more, nothing less. It must be exactly as it is. I want this means I want this and I'm going for it. The thing is that, you know, if you're not with me, excuse me. So this is, this is it. You have you have something similar with the cancer's reading, okay? If you're not with me, excuse me, okay? Excuse me. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, okay? So Leo, this uh, this is for you for those who have chosen deck number two, okay? I hope this gives you some clarity. But I mean, the the ultimate message over here is that you will definitely have a new beginning soon to come. Maybe just not this month. And this month, what will you be seeing for yourself is that you will be on your way to success. Just do what you do. Continue to do what you do, what you need to do. All right? Continue to do what you need to do. A lot of manifestation and working step by step. Um, Yeah, working step by step towards your goal do not give up do not give up and continue to work towards your goal all right so Leo, this is for those who have chosen deck number two okay for those who have chosen deck number three for those who have chosen deck number three first shuffle three shuffles we'll have for Leo's who have chosen deck number three Second shuffle, third shuffle. All right, Leo's who have chosen deck number three. This is your now, your challenge, your your past, your recent past, your future, your possible outcome, what you're thinking about, your external, your hopes, and the final outcome. Okay. Okay, so Leo's who have chosen deck number three, this is for you. So your current situation right now is that you are holding back a lot. You're having a lot of reserve. It seems that you might be having to make a decision, having to make a plan. So there is a lot of stagnation right now, having to think about to give it a ponder, give it a thought, a thorough thought. Okay, uh, the challenge right now is that the situation requires you to move. A lot of movement. It could be physical movement, moving from place to place, uh, point to point moving moving or making some changes in your life okay there needs to be a plan there is a plan that requires from you and the challenge is that 
it might be there's a lot of movement around you in you or required from you okay in the past what do we see in the past we see that there is no breakthrough and this might be the time where you are starting to experience some uh, starting to see the silver lining where new hopes new offers new interests are on the horizon okay but in the past there is no breakthrough everything seems to be stagnant for the longest time whatever that you might be dealing with has been the same for the longest time at least within this year okay one year or so in the recent past what do we have in the recent past we see um you might be dealing with someone who who is less understanding i wouldn't say not understanding but less understanding less understanding towards you less giving towards you or you might be the one who's less understanding or less giving it's like you know you uh the heart wants what it wants the this person it could be you could be the people the person that you are dealing with the heart wants what it wants they want it means they want it they are going towards they want what they want they are expecting what they want on you or you are expecting what you want on them on the people that you are dealing with so this is the recent past in the future what do we have in the future we see the chariot over here the chariot is a lot about moving movement so uh it seems to me like ultimately what we are looking at the and the advice over here is that the future sees that you need to roll with it you have to you cannot you you actually can't uh uh come you, uh what i'm trying to say is that it is not advisable or i i feel like i feel like this is an advice to you it is not advisable for you to uh, go against the flow you have in the future you have to go with the flow it is ne required or needed of you to go with the flow okay the chariot if the situation over here the challenges over here is a lot of changes a lot of movement movement the future is saying that you will ultimately have to go with it okay the possible outcome is that you will leave behind you will definitely leave behind whatever that you have been thinking about for longest time for long or haven't been able to come to a decision uh you will just stay there and you will move accordingly so this is a possible outcome so leo's number three are you thinking about anything that that you want to take action that you want to make a change to the this this layout the, the spread is telling you that you are advisable you're encouraged to go ahead to act on whatever that you want to act okay and leave behind whatever that's slow moving that's not moving right now this is a possible outcome five of cups because if you keep on sitting on it if you sit on it sit on it sit on it nothing will change okay what is the you right now what are you thinking about you're thinking about this king of cups okay there is someone it could be someone whom you are uh thinking a lot or you know occupying you your mind a lot it could be someone who makes uh a major impact in your life could be a love relationship could be a a job offer someone who's a of a water sign or not doesn't matter but someone who you are thinking a lot about uh having to receive an offer having to receive a interest love interest job interest someone to come forward to you you need you're thinking a lot and expecting and wishing for someone to come to you okay uh, your external over here is ten of cups so it is looking like you're being left out you know way behind you're way behind and not able to catch up with life at least you know for those of you leos right now for those of you you might be in a stage where it doesn't it doesn't align with your age so let's say for example you're at your age of 30 your peers whoever who's who's at the age of 30 has gone far beyond way beyond and you are still there okay this is this is you lagging behind whatever that you're feeling right now you're feeling that you're lagging behind or the the circumstances the situation around you people are ahead way ahead this is how you feel what you're seeing and this is what's affecting you okay what are your hopes your hopes are that you want to have a clean you want to sort out your life your hope is that right now for leos you want to sort out your life you want to come together with those who serve a purpose or those who want to keep with whom you want to keep with you and you want to cut out for those for those who no longer so this is the point in time the point of time for you leos deck number three who is making a lot of adjustment and arrangement in your life sorting out your life sorting out your social circle sorting out the people you will find yourself in the month of october being a lot with a specific group of people okay and less less with those who whom you are not so close with okay so there's some cut some sort of cutting out there are more cutting out okay cutting out the tumor than uh than growth there are more cutting out 
you have to cut out first before it can grow okay because there's no space for growth if you don't cut out that's the message over here the final outcome is that you will come to clarity you will see a lot of clarity will unfold okay who is true to you who is good to you uh, who really means well to you okay who speaks the truth who who has been there for, with you for the longest time seeing you grow and seeing you fall going through being standing by you there's a lot of truth unfolding in your life regarding people around you regarding yourself your life whoever that you hand yourself to okay leo's number three this is your deck uh it seems like pretty good so in this month of october it looks to me like there's a major change or transitioning of life rearranging sorting out your life keeping those who keeping those people or those things that serve you and those who are not and then uh, at the same time you're working towards a growth it looks pretty good nothing there's no stoppage over here it's just that your your mind your past might be uh, might be hindering you a bit you might be spending a little bit more time thinking about the past but otherwise in the real in the real life real time right now it looks like everything is moving everything is moving okay so you just have to let go a bit of, about uh, your thoughts the expectation of who you want to hear from who you want to receive from otherwise just roll with the vibe and carry on the chariot go with it go with the flow if the if the challenge right now is that it requires a lot of changes you need to be adaptive go please do be adaptive and then you will find yourself landing in the end of this month landing at a place where you get more clarity as you move yourself forward okay leos this is for you number three i hope you like this reading otherwise and i will see you again uh, in the next other readings see ya bye bye